Hey guys, I got a review. I actually did a review of this laptop already once. Um, it had Windows XP on it, and now it's actually running Windows 7 Professional 32 bit. Uh, I had this computer sitting in the closet for the longest time, but uh, I need to get rid of it. It needs to go. I'm giving it to my friend, and it still doesn't have a battery, so it's really not portable at the moment, but a good 20, 30 bucks gets a new one, which isn't bad, especially with it being a rare laptop. It is rare. Um, I Wikipedia, or did a Wikipedia on it once and it turns out this w is the Dell Latitude C810 it was released in 2002 and production for it was stopped in 2003 due to certain hardware problems and um, other things that went wrong with the computer so it was actually recontinued in 2005 but as the D810 so Oops, dropped the camera. That happens. Um, I actually have the fans going on full speed right now. Er, I have this program installed. Um, it's called Speed Fan. And I set the fans to 100% so that it would stay cool. Let's go ahead and open it up here. screen will come on. It's old so it takes its time on things. Excuse me, I had pancakes this morning. It was really good. Yeah, it's uh... running Windows 7, it's designed for, um, actually, Windows Millennium, I think is what this particular model is designed for. Uh, the buttons here, it took a little bit of a beating at one point in its life, so they're, they're, it feels like they don't register when you hit them. Like, I could hit it and it feels like it's not clicking but it really is it's just it's kinda something in there's broke it still works fine now I sometimes just use that up there since it works better uh... keyboard isn't buckled down for some reason I can't I tried rescrewing it which in some places it got buckled back down but other places it's not the trim up here will not stay down. Uh, I fixed the power button because that was moving all over the place. The screen is actually replaced. Um, the old screen, it got really, really, really hot and the backlight stopped working on it. Like it, it worked in and out and it was really frustrating so I had to get a new screen. Well, this is not new. It's used, of course you can tell by the marks and everything else are over the screen I actually just replaced the entire lid because this up here oh, that's that's the lamp this up here was actually broke um, when I installed Windows 7 I actually took out this drive here, I just like completely removed it and put in a different one, actually a HP drive, I put it in there. It has two DVD drives, it has one in the front and a DVD drive in the side. They're both DVD drives. They both show up as DVD drives, they both play DVDs pretty well. Uh, the case 
has some minor damage to it from being dropped several times. Uh, the hard drive is a 40 gigabyte, not too big at all, but it's something. Um, of course, you know about the battery missing. Windows Aereo does not work on this. I I must stress, I tried updating the video card drivers and I tried doing Windows Update and well, Windows Update refuses to work right now. But um I cannot get it to do Aereo because well it's old. It's a very, very old graphics card, but it's if I were to restart it, which I'm not going to restart it because it's doing a uh, security scan here, and I'm not going to interrupt that. But if I were to restart it, it actually does the starting Windows animation, like which blew me away because I have a netbook that was built for Windows 7, which I'll get to a review on that later. Um, but it doesn't do the starting Windows animation, it just does the line scrolling across the screen like you know the good old days of Windows Vista which is which brings me to another thing uh... this laptop actually had Windows Vista on it because I didn't think it could run Windows 7 so I uploaded uh... Windows 7 and the hard drive with Windows Vista is actually over in that mess somewhere uh, that hard drive is actually beat to hell, and it's very, very, very slow. I could not keep that hard drive in this computer. So this one runs a little better. Uh, wow, I'm getting up to a seven-minute review here. So that's pretty much it for this. Go ahead and shut that. Leave it alone for now. And thanks. Subscribe for more.